Hey, sweetie. Fifteen minutes. Bye.
Sweetheart. Are you okay? Yeah. You yeah. okay? I'm sorry, baby. Oh, here's the money. Where did you get this? <laughs> you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Take a seat, Mr. Hand. You watch it. Welcome, Mr. Hand. I'm Detective Blondine DiMaggio, and this here is my... I know who this idiot is. And I have to say, this is your lucky day, Mr. Hand. It's Jack, isn't it? Yeah. Today you could change your life, Jack. What are you talking about? You know you're in cubic shitloads up to your neck, Jack. I want to talk to my lawyer. The what? I want to see my lawyer. You want to see your lawyer? Who? Jackie. How do you know? You know, Jack, some people are born lucky. Others, like yourself, are living proof that God hasn't got any quality control. Whoa, Jack, trying to move up on the vermin scale, eh? What? Looks like you and I are after the same person. Only I'm not sending out idiots to try and shoot him for me. I don't know what you're talking about. Jack, I've just had a report from one of my surveillance teams that your messenger just went clay pigeon shooting and didn't even get a score. Well, scumbag, we've got you by the balls. So before you go off screaming for your lawyer, as much as it goes against my grain, I suggest you listen to what Blondine here has to say to you. From where you stand, this is the best chance you're gonna get. Jack, there are three ways we can do this. One, we have enough evidence to charge you with dealing and attempted murder. Two, we could let Daimo know who was behind the attempt on his life and set you free. Or three, you can do what we say and we'll let you walk at the end. You see, Jack, you're just a little fish in a murky pond. And sometimes I use little fish to catch bigger fish. Jack, you're on my hook. <laughs> no, ours. You shut up. Hey, Carly. Zed. Zed! Sorry. Great hair. They destroyed my car. Yep. Right. Yeah, well, uh, whatever it takes. I want him found. Talk to you later. Hi, Zed. How you doing? Not bad. You got any clothes? Not yet. You heard anything? Hey, Zaddy. You want a drink? No, thanks, Carly. Paulie's taking your car, mate. You better go. Yeah, sure. You took your shoes off too, good boy. I did. Where's your flash little shitbox, Dymo? We heard on the grapevine you might want to report an incident. What incident? Oh, I don't know. What was it, Dash? Oh, alien invasion, I think. Yeah. No, actually, someone told us that a Martian came down, saw your little car, thought it was a spaceship and zapped it with his ray gun. We thought we'd save you a trip to the police station, so we came here, so you could make a statement. See, it's not true what they say about us. We are caring individuals. Aren't we, Dash? Oh, yeah. Caring. Care to watch your back, Dimer. You know, it's a dangerous game some people play. We all know when we play games, someone wins and someone loses. 
I don't play games. I play for keeps. Oh, Daimo, you better believe it. So do I. So do I. Shit. Uh, Dash, just turn the car around. I'll go have a chat with the young lady. Righto. Here we go again, 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 again. So what the hell's going on? Wish I knew, mate. Wish I knew. Mm, but if Twana could be mine. Hello. Ah, Daimo. I was wondering when you would call. I hear you have small trouble. You have more ears than days in a year, Tuan. No, Daimo. Only ears in very important places. Yeah, well, I think we should meet and drink some tea. Ah, tea. That's a very good idea. Tea resolves many ailments. Yeah, well, I'm driving to the city now. It'll be about 45 minutes, I reckon. Look forward to it. See you then. What did he say? <laughs> Reckon you can't drive for shit. <laughs> <laughs> Twist on this, mate. <laughs> no, seriously, Zed. If it's got wheels, you'll find a way of crashing it. Uh, I remember that time you drove the bloody bike into the river. If it wasn't for Bobby and Slade, you'd still be lying there on the bottom. That was a new pushy, too. Jeez, the old man was pissed off. Merry Christmas, eh? Yeah, and who was it that uh, rollerbladed into the side of a bus? <laughs> <laughs> that bus driver thought for sure that he'd killed you. I mean, he was standing there just staring at you in disbelief that you're still alive. I thought you were dead. <laughs> Bloody poor bastard didn't even realize he pissed his pants. Okay, man, we're gonna be perfect, though, eh? But you, Zed, are a classic, man. <laughs> Bloody classic. Bobby. Yeah, get a hold of Slay and get him to meet us at the warehouse tonight at 7.30. Okay, man, see you then. We're gonna get an extra 50 horsepower out of this straight up. So what you're saying is that with a flick of a switch, the nitrous is introduced into the fuel at a greatly reduced temperature, and that in turn allows more fuel into the motor. Yeah, more fuel. And more power. That's right. Mm. So uh, how long does a bottle of nitrous last? Well, it depends. See, the way I've got this set up, it only comes into use once you hit mid-throttle. And if you leave it on, you can get a minute and a half out of the bottle. And that's burning rubber, my friend. Burning rubber. Burning rubber. Hey, Zed. Dino. How you doing? How you going? Where's your motor? Upstairs. I need to talk. going on? Someone took a hit at Dymo, shot up his motor. Like who? Look, we don't know yet, Slade. Any word on the street? Nothing yet. Let's just say that somebody out there is not happy with the way we're doing business. So when you're out there tonight, just really watch your backs. If you hear anything, anything, Get straight back to me. Okay. <laughs> hey, stay safe.
G'day, Shifty. Hello, Slow. True, mate. Tough job there, eh? Yeah, should've got that job in the bank. <laughs> How you going, Slow? Willie. How are you? Not too bad, man. Listen, mate. Someone took a hit at Dymo earlier this evening. You heard anything about it? You kid. Wouldn't their right mind would do that? Dunno. But we'd sure appreciate it if you'd keep your ear to the ground, huh? Yeah, sure. No problem. Just tell Dymo there's no worries this thing. Yeah, I know. A lot of water under the bridge, eh? Yeah, a lot of water, mate. But after all these years, I kind of like the look of your ugly head. Take it easy, man. Shifty. Slide. Hello? Hey, Dama. It's Jack Hand. Yeah, I got a interesting proposition I want to run past you. Might improve uh, business status, if you know what I mean. I'm listening, Jack. <laughs> oh, good. Well, uh, what say we meet tonight at 11 at the cave, yeah? Okay. See you there. Japanese piece of shit you drive going. <laughs> yeah, yeah alright, man. Hey, it's Sparky. Slade. Bobby. What are you looking for a bit more grunt there, Sparks? How's that new nitro system of yours going? Oh mate, fantastic. You should see the way this thing goes. Blow your fucking doors off. Yeah. I want to hear this thing run. Okay, Paulie, kick her in the guts. It's a bit loud. You reckon you'd hear your stereo? Ah. Well, you ace. You young pricks just don't get it, do you? Hey, tell Dymo I'll drop his wheels back later. See you, Sparky. 
Ten keys, Dama. Who the hell is that sort of money? I mean, that's the best part of eight million bucks. Out of towners. Kiwi bike gang. I've done a bit of business with them before, but uh, now they want to buy in bulk. Apparently, US Customs has tied up the South American route tight as a fish's ass. And where do you fit into this deal, Jack? <sighs> well, that's none of your business. However, to sign a good faith, I got a little export deal going with New Zealand. Mineral water. You know, the bottled shit the kids drink. Plus, I do a bit of business with their affiliated gangs in the city. Got a good track record, Daimo. Zid, come in. Oh. Huh. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Snips. We've got to stop meeting like this. Come in, Zid. Take a seat. <laughs> Zid, my old friend. How are you, mate? Can I get you a drink? Yeah, uh, smoke. What about one of these lovely girls? Oh, thanks, Gorda. Just business. Business as well. <clears throat> There's been a slight situation. Hey, just tell Dino that business has been a bit slow the last couple of weeks. Just all, all I need is uh... money, no merchandise. One fucking week. One fucking week! You tell Dino I've got enough shit on him! One week's credit certainly isn't gonna hurt his precious. He does business. So that's the setup. But the big question is, can you supply that much gear on such short notice? That's not the question here, Jack. Zed. Dimo. The slice of heaven. Gordo wants to put a check in the mail. OK. Get on to Bobby, get him to pick me up at the cave. See you soon. Sorry, Jack. Urgent business to take care of, man. What, so you in? I'll think about it. Get back to you.
Thanks. Is the storage full? Yeah, to the brim. Uh, last thing's in with the mobile phones. And how many laptops from the night before? Uh, 27 laptops and three PCs. But they're all English versions, no Chinese. Okay. Not a bad week's work, really. I suppose Sparky's not too unhappy about his new stock. Although, if that's how they turned up looking, he wouldn't be too impressed. It's not my fault. They just shouldn't let some people drive at night. OK, you guys had better get out of here before you give me a bad name, huh? Oh, you give us a call with that order. As soon as I get the new list, talk to you then. Of the bigger turbine tweaked up your nitro. It's running all right. Sparky, if you were legal, you'd still make a fortune. Legal? You fucking joking. Take all the fun out of life. Let's go, bully. <laughs> Hello, Detective Peter Dasher. Well, Jack, I suppose you'd better come and get some supplies then, hadn't you? Jock, get the troops together for a briefing, mate. All right, you lot, listen up. You what? I said, listen up. I've got something pretty big about to go down and I need you all to pay attention. Now, as you all know, Blondine and I have been after this. You right? Sorry. I'll start again. Now, now as you all know, Blondine and I have been after this Dymo character and his cronies for a long time. As things have turned out, we've had some inside knowledge. We've been able to set up a deal that's going to go down tonight. You set it up that? Yes, sir. -y. In fact, we've been able to put the squeeze on Mr Jack Hand so much that I've got him in my pocket. You can't be too bloody big then, eh, Dash? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you guys. Oh, God, honestly, <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd swear half of you are still in the schoolyard. You all know this Dymo character's one of the main men we've been after. 
He's the centre pin for all sorts of crime. Ram raids, car theft, drug deals. If it's illegal, he is into it. And what's more, he's the main man on the street for the Chinese crime syndicate in this town. So I cannot impress upon you the importance of this bust. Then how come they put you in charge, that? Oh, very funny. <laughs> now, the deal's going down at 0500 at Jack Hand's factory. Five in the morning? Shit, it's still dark then. Well, of course it is, you egg. Now, the layout of the factory is like this. We'll have a dozen of you guys placed outside, here, 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 three more on the other side, and the remainder inside. Now, Jack Hand will probably have a few of his lads with him. Blondine and I will be upstairs watching in the dunny. Don't even think about it, sunshine. Hey, Dasha. Yeah. What about Dynamo? Well, I'd imagine he'll have his entire crew with him. Now there's four of them, including Dynamo. Is that all? Is that all? <laughs> Look, these are not just any ordinary punks. They are shiftier than a shithouse rat. Now, if there's nothing else, I'd imagine you all have some preparations to take care of. Oh, wait a sec, one more thing. We, the police department, have put up eight million dollars of the city's money for this deal. Now, if anything goes wrong, it's my ass that's on the line. Can you insure an ass for eight million dash? <laughs> <laughs> I'd advise you to get to work. Yeah. Blondine, it's Dasher, we're on. Who? It's Dasher, your partner. Mm. We're gonna spring dynamo. Yeah. Okay, I'm on up, my way. So we've got to get you down here now. We're on. Right. Mm. Sorry, gorgeous. Judy calls. Yeah, Jack, it's me. She's at the shopping mall. Typical. Keep an eye on her. I'm five minutes away. Righto. Yeah, she's bought everything on the first floor. She's moved on to the second. I'm upstairs on the roof. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on her. Let you know. Righto. 
Speak to me. She's still here, Jack. Where is she now? She's back on the first floor, spending money like it's going out of fashion. Gosh, she's been in there two hours. Yeah, tell me about it. Look, I'll call you back. Finally, I think she's finished. We're heading out. Okay, I'll give you the word to grab her. Righto. Wait for my call. Forget it. Forget about it. The chick she's with is a cop, you hear me? Shit. Forget it. Figure up later. Okay. We're out of here. Have a good night. Nice ass. Fuck! Scumbag, who the hell do you think you are? Have you boys got no respect for a lady? What, your mother never taught you any manners? Well, the rules, boys, are respect and manners. Fuck! You bitch! Nice one, boys. Guys and girls, fuck life before life fucks you. It's a lie. I 
about it seriously, guys. I have been approached to be involved in something that's, well, it's pretty big. Ladies, shall we? So I just wanted to toss around a few ideas, see what you guys thought. So, um, what, you never even had a boyfriend at school? I never said that. Yeah, but uh, you never said you did. What difference would it make if I said I had six boyfriends? Six? You had six boyfriends at school? No. <laughs> no. No, I... Not six. Half a dozen. Oh. Oh. Oh, this sucks. You know, here we are, the good guys, sitting in the freezing cold, eating shit takeaway, and there they are, living the high life of the corruption we're supposed to be preventing. You ask me, one of the parties has got it wrong. Come on, Dash. Don't lose the plot on me now. I mean, just think, there's only 15, 20 years of this and you can retire. Yeah. So long as the baddies don't shoot me first. This looks like my old girlfriend. <laughs> Run, fight! I'm 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 Look, I'm my mammy's eagle! Oh, here, oh, 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 bloody wanker! You wet me everywhere, Jesus! Friggin' Christ! Come on, poor baby, guys, here to piss me off before burning me all head. Oh, Jesus Christ! It's time for you to leave, shrimp pig. Why? Not here. Taxi? Yeah, that's right. Enjoy it, you little creep. Once you're on the inside, the only ass you'll be grabbing is your own. In pain. Slay, man, I'm not gonna tell you one more time. Give me back my fucking cigarettes. I never touched your bloody cigarettes. Bullshit, you did it. Oh, yeah, we're sitting on the table. Yeah, you do this every fucking time. Why would I want to touch your cigarettes? Oh, well. What, well, where are they then, huh? I don't know, I don't have them. Just give them back to me. Come on, man. Huh? I don't have a set. <laughs> yeah, it's really good, Zed. Okay, stay close, guys. I expect an apology, man. No, you don't get nothing from me, man. I want an apology. Just get in the car, all right?
5 a.m. my factory. I'll be there. Dash? <laughs> yeah? What's with the little girl? Oh, uh, her parents were just killed in a drive-by shooting. Bill, for God's sake, will you get someone up here to take care of this little girl? Hello? What's your name? Who's this? My friend. You're going to be okay. Uh, Metropolitan Police, Detective Peter Dash is speaking. Her name's Lucille. Lucille. Hi. I'm Kathy. What, five in the morning? It's still dark there. All right then, scumbag, this is your big chance. We'll have the cash and trust me, we'll cover your ass every which way we can. But one smart move from you on this deal, boy, and you will go down on the spot. No ifs, no buts, dead meat. Just give me an excuse. We're on. Dharma.
dash damazrat Brought the whole gang along, Daimo. With 10 kilos, who would you trust? <laughs> you know, one thing I've learned in this business is you can never have too much insurance. And that's one thing I notice you guys don't have enough of. Good insurance. I mean, you guys don't even carry guns. <laughs> <laughs> Insurance is like money. The more you have, the more protection you've got. But I didn't come down here to teach you any lessons, Daimo. You got the goods I take it. In there. Got the cash. Now, now! Go now! Crazy bastards! Freeze! Get your hands in the air! Well, Daimo, I told you I play for keeps. Oh, yeah. She's been known to stack the deck in her favor, if you know what I mean. Hasn't she, Jack? Taxi! Give it up, Jack. There's no way out. You're surrounded. Well, it's your move, lady. But you see this little contraption I've got in my hand? This is a remote control. And you see that contraption tied around those dainty little hands? That is a large amount of extremely volatile explosive. Oh, you're dog shit, Jack. Woof, pig. It's your choice. But you shoot me. And I swear to you, with my last dying breath, I will bring this fucking place down around our fucking ears! See, Dama, this is what I mean by insurance.
City from this part of town. So if we're quick enough, we'll catch him there. This is an all points bulletin looking for a late model red Porsche 928. Registration one hand. That's one H A N D. Also a highly modified Nissan 200 SX white in color pursuing the Porsche. If these vehicles are located, contact Detective Blondine DiMaggio immediately. Do not apprehend. I repeat, do not apprehend. Last seen heading toward the city. Six to base. Suspect vehicle just spotted heading north along Moore Street. I report Moore Street. Over.
Go left. What? Trust me, go left. Jack? Where? Check out the tracks. <sighs> Nicely spotted. Thank you. Let's go. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> oh man, my car! Put your lap belt on. Just whack your lap belt on now.
buy myself a new coat. A new car. Game's up, Daniel. There. I saw what went down. There must be something you want to say. Look, I've told you. James Buddy, will do all we talk. are going to fry you. You don't cooperate. You're only going to make it worse for yourself. Detective Dasher, you've detained my client for 15 hours. Unless you intend to charge him with possession of a suitcase full of icing sugar, I suggest you let him go. Let him go. Listen, you stuffed shirt. We have charges of trafficking drugs, carrying dangerous explosives, resisting arrest, dangerous driving. Just off the top of my head, if you want me to keep going, I can. Yes, well, no one's perfect. Bearing in mind my client managed to locate a large sum of the city's money. Eight million dollars, I think it was. Eight million? It was eight million. Which you lost. Lost? For Christ's sake! All right then. What about the investigation into Jack Hand's murder, hey? Murder? Yeah. Detective Dasher, my client is prepared to cooperate with you. Which means that we won't be running to the press with stories of notorious criminals being handed large sums of public money. But he informs me that in his efforts to secure the safe return of the city's money, the late Mr. Han's motor vehicle simply exploded. Well, unless you want to prove otherwise, with respect, I suggest that you proceed with the lesser charges. We can arrange bail, and we can all go home.
Thank you. 